Hello, hello! Pizza Packs here, and we're back with our first thing from Assassin's Creed. Uh, this is the two-player starter kit. Uh, this is the first thing that I'm going to be doing, or th this is the only thing I'm going to be doing for Assassin's Creed for a little while. Uh, I do have a bunch of things coming down the pipeline. And uh, this set was not a high priority, but it is from the universes beyond. Of course, Assassin's Creed, Ubi uh, Ubisoft franchise, that's massive. If you haven't heard of it by now, it's it's a game. It's a thing. Yeah, let's get into this. Uh, I know how you're supposed to... I, you know what? We're going Christmas style on this. Alright, so inside the box. I probably just made a whole bunch of people mad. Um, so inside the box. You've got this thing in the front. Just what's the space? The spacer. That's the thing. We have two decks. We have Ezio and uh, Ivor, I think. Ivor, Ivor. Two deck boxes themed for each one. And a getting started play guide. And apparently there's a QR code to learn how to play magic. Goes over some of the basics. And uh, yeah, nowhere near as... Uh, nowhere near as holistic as the... Um, or all-encompassing, rather, as the older two-player starter kits. But it's what we have now. Uh, this is the current one. I believe, unless the Bloom, I, actually, I think the Bloomboro one is the current one. This was the one before that. Well, let's see what's in store. Starting off with the Ezio deck. Okay. Ezio, Blade of Vengeance. Let's zoom in a little bit. Focus. There we go. We have Ezio, Blade of Vengeance. Three blue black for 5-5 five, five, legendary human assassin with death touch. And then uh, whenever an assassin you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Ooh. Now I believe these are modern legal. So that's, that's kind of cool. Okay. Achilles Davenport. Uh, two blue black for a 3-3 three, three legendary human assassin. With free running for blue and a black. Free running is you may cast a spell for its free running cost if you don't combat damage to a player this turn with an assassin or commander. Those last two words frustrate the hell out of me. Not gonna lie. Menace can only be blocked it can only be blocked by two or more creatures, and then other assassins you control get plus one plus one. Very nice. Um, auditor or auditore ambush? I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing it's auditore ambush since they appear to be Italian. Two blue black sorcery. Choose one or both. Return target creature to its owner's hand or target player searches their library and or graveyard for a card named Ezio, Blade of Vengeance. Reveals it and puts it into their hand. It, if they search their library this way, they shuffle. And we have two copies of that rooftop bypass one blue black enchantment whenever one or more non-token creatures you control do combat damage to a player create a one one black assassin creature token with menace that's pretty sweet tranquilize one and a blue Sorcery, tap target creature and opponent controls and put three stun counters on it. If a permanent with a stun counter would become untapped, remove one remove a counter from it instead, a stun counter from it instead. We have one, two, three copies of that. Hookblade Veteran. For a blue, you get a one-two human assassin. As long as it's your turn, Hookblade Veteran has flying. It's a slightly better flying man. We have one, 
two of those. Brotherhood Spy, one in a blue for a 1-3 human assassin at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you control a legendary assassin, Brotherhood Spy gets plus one plus oh until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. Well, that's pretty sweet. We have one, two, three copies of that. Assassin Den. Why was this not a land? Uh, three and a blue for a 2-4 wall with Defender. This creature can't attack. For three and a blue, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. It can't be blocked this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. That's kind of cool. Probably shouldn't have been a wall, though. One, two of those. Merciless Harlequin. Two and a black for a 2-1 human assassin with free running, one and a black. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card and lose one life. Well, that's pretty good. Ooh, that's a common, too. So that can be played in Popper. One, two, three of those. And we have Brotherhood Patriarch. Three and a black for four one human assassin. Whenever it dies, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. Hmm. Also, a uh, common one, two of those. Poison Blade Mentor. One and a black for a 2-1 human assassin with death touch. Whenever it attacks, another target assassin you control gains death touch until end of turn. Sweet. And two of those. Brotherhood Ambushers. Four and a black for a 6-3 human assassin with three running. Three and a black. Okay, so it's just a big one that gets cheaper. One, two, three Brotherhood Ambushers. Hired Blade, two and a black for three, two human assassin with flash. Okay, we have one, two, three of those. Submerged Boneyard, it's a non-basic land, enters tapped and then taps for a blue or a black. Two, three of those. Assassin Initiate, uh, for a black you get a one, one human assassin, the ability to pay one. It gains your choice of flying, death touch, or lifelink until end of turn. That's pretty sweet. Oh, it's an uncommon. Ooh. We have one of those. Restart sequence. Three and a black, sorcery. Free running, one and a black. Return to your creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Whoa. That could be very strong. We have one of those. Chain Assassination. Two black black instant. Free running, one in a black. Destroy target creature. If another creature died this turn, draw a card. That's pretty sweet. We have one of those. Eagle Vision. Four in a blue. Sorcery. Free running, one in a blue. Draw three cards. Wow! Man, they really push the free running stuff. There is one of those. Towering Viewpoint. Two mana artifact creature wall. It's a 0-4 with Defender and Reach. It has Leap of Faith. For three, target creature gains flying until end of turn. That's pretty cool. Murder. It's obviously a reprint. One black black and sent destroy target creature. Oddly enough, also legal and standard right now. We have one, two murders. Ooh, that's a cool island. Let's see, we have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven islands with that cool ship. Looks like a clipper. And then we have a swamp. Pretty neat looking swamp, too. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 swamps. Then we have an assassin token with menace. In the back, it's a treasure. It's pretty cool. Another assassin token that's also a treasure. And no code. Well, that's messed up. I was hoping there would be a code for these. Mm. I'm guessing they didn't put these on Arena. Probably why there's no code. All right, second deck. It's Eivor or Evior, something like that. Ivor? I don't know. EI in combination is kind of a weird sound. I'm going to say Ivor, battle ready. 
three red white for a five five human assassin warrior legendary human assassin warrior with vigilance haste and when it attacks it deals damage equal to the number of equipment you control to each opponent hmm that's neat escarpment fortress four and a white or a three five wall with defender and reach other so it can block flyers uh, other creatures you control get plus one plus oh whenever you attack with two or more creatures draw a card well, that's pretty cool uh Surter. fiery yotan let's see three red red for five five legendary giant god warrior that's a god that's not a whole lot of those in the game trample uh whenever you cast a historic spell deals four or deals three damage to any target artifacts legendaries and sagas are historic hmm i think there might be some interesting combos with that raven clan war axe one red white artifact equipment uh, whenever it enters the battlefield you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named ivor battle ready reveal it and put it into your hand if you search your library this way shuffle Equip creature gets plus two plus oh and has trample equip two pretty sweet we have two of those detained by legionnaires one in a white enchantment aura enchant creature enchanted creature can't attack or block okay so it's a pacifism clone okay we have one two three of those Battlefield Improvisation, one and a white instant. Target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. If that creature is attacking, you may attach any number of equipment you control to it. Oh boy. This might actually see play in uh, Hammer Time if Hammer Time becomes a deck again in Modern. I think Energy has pretty much shut the door on Hammer Time, but this might help bring it back. One... Two of those. Settlement Blacksmith. Two and a white for a 3 3 human artificer. When it enters the battlefield, if you control an equipment, draw a card. Eh, not too bad. One, two, three of those. Keen Eyed Raven. Two and a white for a 2 2 bird with flying. Whenever it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on another target creature you control. Nice. We have one, two, three of those. Head Splitter, one in a red for an artifact equipment. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 black assassin creature token with menace, then attach Head Splitter to it. Equipped creature gets plus 1 plus 0, oh, equip 2. Hmm, neat. One. Ooh, and that's Popper Legal. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mystio's Fury. I think that's what right one in a red instant it deals three damage to target creature if you control an equipment it also deals two damage to that to that creature's controller okay one two three copies of that spartan veteran for red you get a one one human soldier as long as it's your turn it has first strike uh two it gets plus one plus oh until end of turn hmm. yeah, one two of those Labyrinth Adversary. Three and a red for four three Minotaur with Trample. And whenever you attack, you may pay one and a red. When you do, target creature can't block this turn. That's pretty nice. We have one, two, three of those. Bureau Headmaster. Red white for two two human assassin. Equipment equipment spells you cast cost one less to cast. Equip abilities you activate cost one less to activate. This could find a place in Red White Cheerios. That would be pretty cool. We have one, two, three of those. Stone Quarry. It's a non basic that enters tapped. Taps for red or a white. One, two, three of those. Hook Blade. One in a white artifact equipment. Or one in a white for an artifact equipment. When it enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. Equip creature gets plus one plus oh. As long as it's your turn, equip creature is flying. And then it has equip two. Interesting. One, two of those. 
Ezio, Brash Novice. One and a hybrid red white for a 1 1 legendary human. Whenever it attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. As long as it has two or more counters on it, it has first strike and is an assassin in addition to its other types. Oh, that's neat. And it fits with the flavor of the, of the uh, game, I guess. Arbaz Mir. Or Arbaz Mir. Pretty sure it's Mir. Uh, red White for a 2 2 legendary human assassin. Whenever it or another non token historic permanent enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. Ooh, that has some cool combo potential. That also goes infinite with, um, it goes infinite with a lot of things, but Mirror Retriever actually goes right with that. Towering Viewpoint. We already went over this in the other deck, but a two mana artifact creature wall with, that's a zero four with Defender in Reach and Leap of Faith. Three target creature gains flying until end of turn. We have one, two of those. Oh, that has a cool planes. Reminds me of some of the Ravnica promos. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven planes. It's also a really nice mountain. We have one. Wait a second, is that miss? No, that's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mountains. We have an assassin token. It's treasure on the back. And another. Excuse me. And another one. And no code here either. And that's. Excuse me. I got the hiccups. Ah. Well, that's, that's a little crappy that we don't get a code, but. I mean, I guess you can scan to learn how to play magic, I guess. But, I mean, overall, that's pretty cool. And for 20 bucks, that's I, that's about what I picked these up for. It may have been like 16 to... It, like anywhere between 16 and 25, I think it was. Something like that. This wouldn't be a bad little thing to just be a stocking stuffer this Christmas. Um, you know, it's not bad. I mean, even its own gift, really. But I would consider giving this something like this to uh, some of the older nieces and nephews get them into magic if I hadn't already gotten several of them into magic yeah no it's not bad all right well thank you for joining me on this adventure with the Assassin's Creed starter starter kit I guess maybe it's the it's the best way to learn to play yeah it's the starter kit Assassin's Creed starter kit. I always buy four of these, so um, g just because they always have some silly card that ends up spiking, it makes more sense to just buy them when they're cheap. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining me on this adventure. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for the algorithm. It really helps us out and makes it easier for me to bring awesome videos like this to all of you. But yeah, until next time, stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.